So I'm looking at a type of ultrasound called pulsed ultrasound and I want to look at uh, some of the factors that are involved in pulsed ultrasound. So with uh, many a pretty common type of ultrasonic uh, transducer it, it isn't on all the time. It emits a pulse of sound and then it switches over to listening mode and so um, I'm trying to draw that a little better. So most of the time it's not generating sound, it's listening and then it'll emit another pulse of sound and listen for the echoes to return. So it sends out an impulse of sound and that travels and then it starts listening and that travels down and receives some echoes and it goes down and receives some more echoes and um, so really it turns out that it's only on typically less than uh, less than one percent of the time it's actually producing sound and on the rest of the time it spends listening for the echoes to return okay and so the pulse in here something like that and then over here it emits another pulse. So if we just draw the pulses it'd be like that and then it's not making any sound for a long time and then it generates another uh, pulse of sound. So that's called pulsed ultrasound. Now uh, a couple of the factors that we look at with this, one of them is something called the pulse repetition frequency. or the PRF and this is an indication of how frequently a pulse is emitted by the transducer and so it's a frequency so that's going to have whenever we have a frequency in physics it typically has units of some type of Hertz and the pulse repetition frequency is typically given in kilohertz Okay, so kilo is the metric prefix for 1,000, so um, it's equivalent to 1,000 times hertz. Okay, whatever your frequency is times 1,000 times, and then the unit is hertz. So that's different than the frequency emitted by the transducer, which is megahertz. So the, there's two different frequencies going on here. One of them is the frequency of the oscillation of the sound wave that will be in megahertz but the other one is how many pulses how frequently a pulse is emitted by the ultrasound transducer how frequently frequently do these pulses occur and that's the pulse repetition frequency so it's a bit confusing there's two different frequencies going on here uh, the frequency of the transducer in megahertz and the pulse repetition frequency typically given in kilohertz. So let's look at uh, a typical uh, pulse repetition frequency might be 10 kilohertz and that means there will be 10,000 of these pulses of sound emitted um, every second. 10,000 per second. If it has a PRF of 10 kilohertz, that means there's 10,000 uh, pulses per second. Uh, another thing we might be interested in is um, something called the the uh, pulse repetition period. So when we talk about period in physics. we're usually talking about a duration of time. So period in physics usually means time. Pulse repetition period um, is going to be a, uh, some unit of time and uh, it's equal to 1 over the pulse repetition frequency. So we know from physics that period is 1 over frequency 
And so in this case, pulse repetition period is equal to 1 over pulse repetition frequency. The other thing we'll use is a handy uh, simplifying trick, and that is that if I give you the pulse repetition frequency in kilohertz, remember that's 1,000 per second, my pulse repetition period is going to be in milliseconds since um, this is, uh, the kilohertz is in the denominator. Um, when we convert the units on this, it's going to be per 1,000 seconds. So uh, these are going to flip around and it'll be seconds over 1,000, so that's equivalent to units of milliseconds. So let's put in our, uh, our number here. So I can plug in my 10 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and I could use a calculator, but um, since it's just one tenth, that's 0.1, and then a kilohertz is going to end up having units of milliseconds. When I take the inverse of kilohertz, I get the units of milliseconds. Okay. So that's a quick way, and that's uh, you'll want to use that way if you have to do this quickly. Just going to demonstrate, um, verify that. And so if I look at 1 over 10 uh, kilohertz, that's equal to 1 over 10 thousand per second and that's equal to one ten thousandth of a second okay and so that's equal to point if I look at this it's one two three four decimal places, so I put in one, two, three zeros, and a one. So I'd have to move, for 10,000, I have to move my decimal place over one, two, three, four places, and that's seconds. And then to convert to um, milliseconds, I know that there are 1,000 milliseconds in one second. So that gives me, um, if I multiply 1,000 times this, that moves the decimal place over three places. So that's point, uh, point 0.1, point 0.1 milliseconds. Okay, so the, um, the period, uh, so every, tenth of a millisecond, it's going to be emitting a pulse. Okay, so very, that's a very short amount of time, um, and so it's going to emit a pulse every tenth of a millisecond. It'll be emitting a new pulse. So this total duration right here, from the beginning of this pulse to the beginning of the next one, the length of time for that whole duration is 0.1 milliseconds. Okay.